I got the black beans, the chili beans, the candy beans, some stewed tomatoes, and some corn that I'm debating on whether I'm gonna roast or not. This is some of my fruit. Got the red pepper, tomato, I think that's it, and celery. I'm not gonna use with all the celery, but I have some um, hummus that I wanna eat, so I'm just gonna kill two birds with one stone and rinse it all off right now. I decided I'm gonna roast my own corn. So don't throw me up. If it does come out the way it's supposed to. Got my red onion and also cut up. I used a little bit last night when I had um, a veggie burger, but this will definitely do. So I diced it up pretty well. And this isn't all of it. I have more right here. And then I'm just showing you my finished product. So I just added in about a, I'd say a tablespoon of each. <laughs> I did not measure, but if I had to eyeball it, I would say a tablespoon of each. My roasted corn came out really good, if I must say so myself. So I'm going to open up all the cans, put in the beans, and then put in the roasted peppers. Then I'm going to roast some garlic and throw it in there and put in all the veggies. Added the three beans, the chili beans, the guinea beans, and the black beans, and I just put the roasted corn on top. Just a PSA slash side note: please rinse your beans from the cans, whether it's in a bag and they're dry beans or cooked beans, rinse them beans because it's been in these cans. Some of them could be lined with BPA. You just gotta rinse them. Just, just rinse them. <laughs> That's it. Added those two huge tomatoes. And now it just looks like tomato chili. And I also found some fentanyl beans. So might as well add that to it. And it's literally full to the top. <laughs> Still have to add my red pepper and celery. I put a little bit of broth in. Need to put some more in. So it's just gonna be a very, we're gonna be eating this for days, maybe even a whole week. <laughs> judging by how full this is. All right, these are the seasonings. Chili, oregano, black pepper, pink salt, red pepper, cumin, garlic powder. And so there you have it. We have pinto beans, chili beans, black beans, kidney beans. We have about two and a half cups of broth. I found some tomato paste at the last second, which is that. Um, a gang of red onions, <laughs> some roasted garlic, some roasted corn, I'm gonna roast it myself, thank you very much. Two big tomatoes, a can of tomato, um, or chopped tomatoes, and a bunch of seasoning, and I don't think that I'm forgetting anything. Let me try to do a little scan. Pretty sure that's about it. And then all the seasonings. So I'm gonna let this cook on high. I'm gonna check it in about four hours, but I would imagine it's gonna take about six for it to get that that goodness going in, you know what I'm saying? So I wanna go for a hike. I need the fresh air. It's actually really nice outside. So I'll be back in about four hours. And this can barely close. I was gonna add some wine on me, but this could barely close on its own. Okay, I'm about to make some vegan sour cream for the first time. And it's gonna go well. <laughs> I have faith. I have a cup of cashews, some Himalayan pink salt, some nutritional yeast, apple cider vinegar, and lemon. I also want to add some water. And this recipe I found from her Instagram is Wake Up With Marley. So I'm really excited because I love sour cream with my chili. And update, it's smelling good. It's looking good. Got some pesto toast in the oven. This is about to be a full meal. All right, so this is it. I ended up using the whole lemon, got the nutritional yeast, the water, apple cider vinegar, some salt and a couple cashews. Just gonna blend it up until it's smooth and that's about it. Pesto toast with 
some fresh bread I got from Whole Foods yesterday, and the Stragas beet and basil pesto. I licked a spoon after I <laughs> put this on the bread, and it's so good. Like I can already tell, this is me my favorite. It's a little pricey, but I feel like once I figure out how to make it myself, I'll stop buying it. But in the meantime, this is the best pesto like ever. All right, these are my toppings for my chili. Got some green onions, some avocado, some red onions, homemade bean and sour cream right there. Yes. My delectable chili is ready. I'm about to start plating. And you see the final product.